So I always liked to draw when I was a little kid. I've been drawing all the time. Like I said before, I was a, you know, only child. I drew a little bit all throughout teenage years and that kind of thing. And when I got into high school, I was still drawing a little bit. I just didn't know what to do with it as a career. I will say that my mom recognized that I had a love for drawing and painting. I wanted to join the military, like she was in the military, she was in the Navy. And she said, no, don't you dare, you like to draw, you should do something with that. Number one supporter, right away. Number one cheerleader, right away. And she had faith in the kid that didn't know what he wanted to do with his life. Disney's Tarzan, in 1999, they came out with a movie called Tarzan and it completely changed my life. I watched that movie and uh, I was like, this is it. This is what I want to do with my life. I had a dream to work at Disney Animation. That was the goal, that was the dream. So like I say, we were in Seattle, Washington, which is not near Hollywood. I got a job in a local video game company, local video game company that did 2D animation. You know, it was really local, it was a really small shop, but man, I was like, I was in. I was so excited just to be drawing for a living. After a while, I kind of remembered a dream of just like wanting to make movies. I wanted to make movies. I wanted to be a feature film animator. So I took online classes and all that kind of stuff and did whatever I could uh, just to increase the quality of my work. After two years of taking online classes, I got a job at um, a studio called Blue Sky Studios. So I went out to New York to join them. And then I worked there for two years. I worked on Rio and Ice Age 4. And then after that, I applied to Disney in 2011. And then lo and behold, they liked my demo reel and they brought me in. So like I joined Disney in late 2011, but I graduated art school like 2000. So it only took 11 years <laughs> to get there. I was really proud with how Frozen came out because Disney Animation at that time hadn't made a lot of blockbuster movies and I would have hoped Wreck-It Ralph was a wonderful movie. But like with Frozen, I think us as a team at Disney Animation, we kind of felt validated at that point. You know, it's kind of funny now because Frozen's the biggest movie, biggest franchise and studio ever, but like back then we just weren't sure. So that vindication, I think, you know, and then winning the Oscar for Frozen, that was really cool. Before 2019, I hadn't been back to the Philippines in a long time, but I went back for Icon Manila and then we spoke to one of the schools there. But it's really important to me to encourage young artists. Young artists kind of look at professionals and go, wow, you know, they just kind of did it. But what they don't see really and what no one really talks about is the uphill climb that it took to get there. You've gotten rejected? Yes, I've gotten rejected hundreds of times and that's okay. The only difference is like whether you're gonna pick yourself back up and try again. What we wanna say is artists, but also kind of highlight our roots. I think it's just super important because it's not represented right now. Why not? You never thought about even talking about my culture, my heritage or anything like that until very, very recently. So we made that short film, One Small Step, and it got nominated for an Oscar. And essentially what happened is the whole Filipino press from around the world came out in droves. And they were just so proud of someone being nominated for an Oscar. That overwhelming amount of support meant the world to me. And then from that point on, this is what I'm gonna do with the rest of my career because I've, I've done it long enough, but like what I, what's meaningful to me is to represent uh, for the Filipino culture and my limited Filipino culture being a Filipino American. But what it's helped me do is get back in touch with everything back home and my cousins, my family, my world back there. big thing that we can do as creators or organizations with Rise Up Animation or just encouraging 
people of color, storytellers in Hollywood, in Manila, encouraging them to share their stories or empowering them to share their stories of like Rise Up Animation, tell your story. You know, don't try to be anyone else other than who you are. Tell your culture, talk about family and friends and talk about your culture that you know so that you can empower this next generation of filmmakers, show creators, and all those people to be comfortable with telling their stories. Entertainment is like a really, really powerful tool. It's powerful in a way both it can educate other people around the world. It tells kids that aren't historically represented in animation or TV that, oh, you are represented and we're making stuff for you. This is you.